Hey, hey, welcome to another episode of Dumb Tweets. This is week three. I hope you're enjoying these episodes so far. And today we're gonna dive in into some of the um, dumb tweets that were sent to me mostly. And um, I also wanna point out a couple things that happened this week uh, really quickly. The first thing is a documentary called Chase the Truth, which is sort of a rebuttal to Living Neverland. It, um, it's about an hour long. In the last few weeks, a large amount of ugly, malicious information has been released into the media about me. This case is about one thing only, the complete vindication of a wonderful human being named Michael Jackson. Intense sexual abuse. All it was was like watching a court case where you heard the prosecution and no defense. Your first reaction isn't, I must go on TV and talk about it, it's, I need to go to the police. It's never because there's evidence that he's done this or done that. It's always financial. Journalism is about seeking the truth. If you upset some people, then so be it. It's almost like any evidence that comes out disproving what they've said, they don't want to know. And now again, two accusers going to see Michael Jackson's estate. All of Michael's accusers has always been about money. It's very hard to understand how these allegations could be true. Can you be sure that Robson and Safechuck are telling the truth? You can't control what people believe. That's up to people's own journey. That's the bottom line. The information is disgusting and false. And um, also you can find on YouTube, which is free, um, you find the, 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 the uh, link uh, uh, in the description for Lies of Living Neverland, which also, by the way, was trending on Saturday and it it has gotten a lot of views uh, since it premiered on Tuesday. And the interesting part about Lies of Living Neverland is that it uses a video um, of the deposition of Wade Robson from 2016 uh, that was leaked to the press. And uh, it was uh, used for this documentary, um, which is about half an hour long, and it explores the many lies that have been told and also the different contradictions dictionary stories of um, uh, the guys that are claiming MJ abused them. So I would uh, suggest you check those two out, uh, whether you're on the fence, uh, if you're a fan and you haven't seen them yet, or if you would like to know a little bit more. These are full of facts, they're not speculation, they're not hearsay, um, they're actual uh, facts. So I recommend those. Now let's dive into uh, the tweets for this week. I hope you guys are ready. Um, again, some of them are a little hateful, but I'm just trying to lighten up the mood. And I know that a lot of people defending Michael Jackson, be it fans or journalists, some of the few who are real journalists, or anybody who actually took the time to make research, um, have to deal with on a daily basis. and. Uh, a lot of times respond to this uh, dumb tweets and sometimes it's just not worth it. So let's go. Sadly, there's no stem culture more pernicious than that of the MJ Truther community. Living Neverland leaves no question about who Michael Jackson was or what he did. Yeah, right there, he was a victim of a lot of false allegations. Thank you for pointing that out. And this is a uh, so-called journalist. She says, MJ truthers are blowing up my mentions for pointing out the obvious. Michael Jackson sexually abused kids for years. Dan Reed, who directed the docu, is also a wash and fan outrage, he told me. MJ's victims became numb to this sort of thing long ago. Oh, poor guys. They became numb. Of course they became numb. There's no truth to what they're saying. And this person, being a journalist, should know that there's no proof that says that Michael Jackson sexually abused anybody. And if you keep in mind, the, 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 the thing about this whole um, issue is usually predators don't go publicly showing their affection for children. Uh, they don't say that they like to spend time with kids. Uh, they don't say that they share their bed with 
with children. And that's the other thing. This sharing bed thing has been blown out of proportion in so many ways. Um, I mean, really just look into the facts and look into what Michael Jackson has actually said without the, his words being twisted. But yeah, all in all, uh, there's no proof and all this so-called journalist, all they want is clicks and, you know, to have a bit of popularity. So let's move to the next one. A column about HBO's Michael Jackson documentary. Why it will be easier to walk away from as network or as viewer and why they're doing a service by keeping it on the air. Now people need to watch it. Now what people need to watch is Lies of Living Neverland. And by the way, I don't even know if uh, Living Neverland is actually on the air anymore. I, if there's anybody out there who knows, please leave a comment about it. But um, yeah, nobody needs to watch something where two people keep on claiming something where there's no opposite side, you know? Anyway. So this person is responding to somebody defending Michael Jackson. I'm not really sure what the, the original tweet she's responding to is about, but she says, no, I just know all the facts. The facts point to pedophile. So don't try at me with your bullshit enabler as all my posts indicate I believe he was a pedophile. Zero enabling at my end. They were sexually assaulted and satisfied by Jackson because he was a sick man. <laughs> There's so much in this tweet that we could really dissect. But let me just say, when people like her say they know all the facts, what they're referring to is tabloid media articles. So, um, enough said. Now, moving on to the next one. And these ones are really like, there's so many of them. They're talking about the music again. Yes, I can't help thinking about some of his titles and lyrics with a new weird meaning now. We are the children. You've been hit by a smooth criminal. Mother always told me, be careful of who you love. Dangerous. Uh, really? These people are really reading into things. And I think this says more about who they are than about the songs themselves. And somebody replies, right? People are commenting that he didn't even write Pretty Young Thing and this and that, but his lyrics have meaning behind it. Though he didn't write some of the songs, art imitates life. He was a smooth criminal, one of the best. He brainwashed a lot of people. Yeah. This is somebody trying to sound smart. I think I made my point. And she goes on. So MJ is pretty white, uh, pretty young thing. Sorry, pretty young thing. Really was about pretty young things, little boys. Michael Jackson is a vile, disgusting pedophile. There should be no timestamp on sexual abuse. Nothing is too old or too irrelevant to be put to the light. Hashtag Living Neverland. Honey, stop tweeting. Seriously, just give it up. Sorry, that's my cat. He's having a day today. So somebody posted a tweet uh, with Michael Jackson hugging a girl with Down syndrome. And somebody replies, so hugging a girl with Down syndrome makes the fact that he was fucking kids with his cow spotted dick okay? Okay, Kaya. And uh, there's so many things wrong with this tweet. First of all, girl, I swear, I do, my mom knows, but this is just another level of vulgarity. And really, uh, he's not even saying anything about living Neverland or sexual abuse. He's just posting a picture and saying how he helped the helpless and handicapped children and whatnot. And this person just goes on the attack mode. A lot of people are like that. Um, all these haters, they just go on the attack mode. As if somebody, and they're trying to prove a point that cannot be proved. So, sorry, proven. So they just, I think they kind of lose it. They have anger management issues, I think. Michael Jackson fans are lunatics and are in denial about him raping little boys. 
Yeah, maybe you're in denial about facts. Check it out. It might be a mind opener for you. And last but not least, somebody replying um, or insinuating about people defending Michael Jackson. He says, I think a lot of them are just paid to do so. Yeah, you got us. We're all getting paid because there's no other way that people would defend an innocent man. And I keep saying this and I keep, I'm going to keep on saying this until somebody shows me real proof. And think about it. Somebody like Michael Jackson who was surrounded by so many children that there's only been four cases, well five, if you count uh, Jason Francia, but there's only been as many cases you can count with my the fingers in one hand, uh, and they always, always, always first go for the money, okay? If I had a child who had been sexually abused, I don't care about the money, I want justice. That's what I want. I would want that person to go to jail. And you might say, yeah, but the Arvisos went to trial. Yeah, because they couldn't actually file a civil, uh, a civil, uh, uh, sorry, uh, a civil suit before the actual criminal trial. So because the laws changed from the Chandler case, uh, they were they actually had to get a conviction in the criminal trial for them to be able to pursue a civil trial. So there you have it. That was for today's um, dumb tweets. I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember, if you like it, to share, to like, to subscribe. And thank you for all of you who send me the dumb tweets. If you have any other ones that you would like um, featured on these episodes, please send them along. Thank you again for watching. Peace out.